While the 737 MAX gained bad reputation due to the poor MCAS software design, the new Boeing jet is not all about MCAS. The 737 MAX is the fourth generation of the Boeing 737, replacing the 737 Next Generation which was in production since 1997. The new Boeing jet is very similar to its predecessor, but has some key design improvements and new engine installed to address the ever-increasing demand to lower the fuel burn and emissions. Today we are going to have a look under the hood to discover different features in the air, anti-ice engine, flight controls and fuel systems the 737 MAX received with the aim to improve the flight safety. Even though the overhead air conditioning and pressurization panel in the flight deck remain almost the same as on NG, there are some behind the scenes changes in the system. The air systems are now capable of detecting and auto-isolating system faults. The bleed and pack amber lights will now eliminate in-flight with both switches off 45 seconds after the flaps have been retracted. This added warning will alert the pilots that the air conditioning is misset and no air is coming into the cabin, resulting in the cabin not being pressurized. It provides an extra layer of safety to the checklist and cabin altitude warning, which would otherwise come up at 10,000 feet. You can check out my video about aircraft pressurization, where I explain the whole system in more detail. Smoke, fire and fumes pose a great threat to any aircraft. The 737 has smoke detectors in lavatory and cargo compartments. For increased safety, the 737 MAX has also smoke detection for the equipment cooling system. This allows the pilots to quickly identify the source of smoke and action appropriate on normal checklist. Apart from the ice protection of the leading edges of the wings and the engine cowlips, the new engine is equipped with engine core anti-ice system. If the ice is allowed to form inside of the engine core, it may cause engine vibration, surge or loss of thrust. That's why the core anti-ice system automatically provides hot air to the low pressure compressor to prevent ice formation in the engine core. The new Leap 1B powering the 737 MAX also received two new system protections, engine overspeed and thrust control malfunction accommodation. The thrust control malfunction accommodation or TCMA will automatically shut down the engine on the ground in case that it doesn't respond to the thrust command changes. This is to provide protection from high asymmetric thrust. The thrust asymmetry has caused many runway excursions on takeoff in the recent years and this system is designed to reduce them. The engine control provides automatic overspeed protection and the engine RPM doesn't normally go anywhere near the design limits. Should these protections fail however, the electronic overspeed system or EOS will shut the engine down to protect it from damage. The Leap 1B also received three new engine start protections for ground honk start, in-flight engine hot start and in-flight engine stall on start. While we are at it, we should mention the bowed rotor motoring or BRM. This feature doesn't increase the safety as much as it increases the lifespan of the Leap engine. The bowed rotor motoring reduces the temperature differences and eliminates the terminal deformation during engine start. This ensures that the rotor shaft straightens prior to fuel ignition. The spoilers on the 737 MAX are fly-by-wire. This means that the spoilers are not mechanically linked to the flight controls in the flight deck anymore. Flight control inputs are processed and sent via electrical control signal directly to the flight control power control unit. This reduces weight, improves stopping distance, as well as introduces new features which would not be possible with mechanical solutions. One of the new safety features is called Elevator Jam Landing Assist. The system was designed to help the pilots control the pitch for landing with jammed elevator. The Elevator Jam Landing Assist uses spoilers to adjust the pitch attitude for approach and landing. When activated, the flight spoilers extend to a new neutral position for direct lift control. The system then converts control column inputs into spoiler commands. When the pilots push on the control column, the flight spoilers extend from neutral position. This results in aircraft pitching down. When the pilots pull on the control column, the flight spoilers retract from neutral position. This results in aircraft pitching up. 
In case that the pressure in the cabin is lost, the pilots will perform so-called emergency descent. The goal of this maneuver is to descend to the lower altitude where the crew and passengers can breathe normally as soon as possible. The new Emergency Descent Speed Brakes or EDS system is designed to increase the descent rate during emergency descent. EDS will extend the spoiler slightly beyond the maximum flight deflection to increase the drag when the cabin altitude warning is active above 30,000 feet with the speed brakes extended. Last safety addition in the flight control system is the new speed brake extended light logic. The speed brake extended light will now illuminate when the thrust is above idle to remind the pilots that the speed brake is still extended. The fuel system also received new updates, mainly new warnings. Using reserve fuel, insufficient fuel and fuel disagree FMC scratchpad messages now also appear below the fuel quantity indication as Ember alerts. This means that the pilots can now more clearly see these fuel related alerts and cannot accidentally delete the messages. Quick reference handbook non-normal checklists have been added for these alerts and the new non-normal checklists will try to establish whether a fuel leak is the cause for the alert or not. When we are talking about fuel leak, new fuel flow alert was added on the engine instrument display to alert the pilots about possible engine fuel leak. Flight management computer calculates normal fuel flow estimate and compares it to the actual fuel flow. When the actual fuel flow is abnormally high, that is 15% more than the FMC calculation, fuel flow alert will eliminate. This was just a quick summary of all the new system safety features exclusive to the 737 MAX. But there are also other features which were developed for the MAX but rolled out onto both NG and MAX fleets. One such example is the Roll Command Alerting System which alerts the pilots to situations where the autopilot is close to roll authority limit and is about to disengage. It also provides enhanced alerts for excessive bank angles. The engine start levers were also redesigned to improve the engine fire indication and prevent inadvertent shutdown of incorrect engine during in-flight engine fire. I hope that you learned something new today. If you'd like to know more about the aircraft systems and specifically more about the 737, download our 737 handbook app where you can benefit from interactive simulations, technical articles and videos.